project come about? So what was the first conversations? How did that happen? Um, so I had no clue. I'm trying to think what we were on season three of Blackish, towards the end of it. And I just applied to schools. Like I just turned in all my applications literally at 11.57 p.m. Um, <laughs> yes, right on time. <laughs> and so I just turned in my applications and then mommy turns to me and goes, oh, by the way, Kenya called. He has an idea for a spinoff. Huh? <laughs> I think my favorite thing was mommy knew that just because it was such a, an intense moment in which I was trying to get these applications in and do my best work, of course, she let me just focus on that without the impending idea of a, of a spinoff coming about. Right, shout out to mom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that night, I talked to Kenya, and he was saying it was really important to him that Zoe didn't remain static, you know, because she is the age in which she would be going on her own adventure. Right. And she is, and they have talked about college on the show, and so he did really want to take that next step to figure out what Zoe's college experience would be like and the kind of world that she could build around it. Um, and so that's really how it came about from the, the it's the brainchild of Kenya Barris. And at first I, I was uncertain just because, it, I mean, it's such a big step and to go from being a part of a lovely cast to then say, oh, it's about Zoe. This story is about Zoe. Um, and so that was nerve wracking, but I think after meeting with Kenya and him fleshing out the whole idea, and even from our initial meeting in January to when we shot the pilot in March to when we shot the series, in September, I mean, so much has morphed and changed in, in necessary ways, but I think it was that initial meeting that I was like, oh, wow, this is really interesting, and Gronish allows us to tell stories that you wouldn't be able to tell on Blackish, because they're just two different shows. Blackish covers such important dialogues and conversations, but it is through the lens of drag. Right. And, and so how do you tell a college story um, through that lens? It's really it's kind of his idea to then just say, let's shift the lens altogether and make it authentic by coming from Zoe's lens and then introducing new people to, into her life. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. And I can speak for everyone here when we say we appreciate the spinoff. We love Gromish up here. <laughs> Just for background is Dharma driven and this idea of being driven from purpose. 